trigonometric identities. We are already aware of six ratios in trigonometry. That is sine, cosine, tangent, cosecant, secant and cotangent. But do you know there are some identities involving these six trigonometric ratios? Yes, these three identities are very important for solving various questions in trigonometry. These trigonometric identities are in the form of equalities which are true for every value of the angle. But do we have to memorize these as they are? No. We will tell you a much simpler way of recreating these identities. And with practice, you can recreate them in just few seconds. Yes, you heard me right. So let's begin. First, we draw a hexagon like this. Now, join the opposite vertices and write one at the center of the hexagon. Remember, tan theta equals sin theta upon cos theta. So, write tan, sin and cos in clockwise direction like this. Now, as we remember, cot is opposite of tan, so we write cot at the opposite vertex to tan. Similarly, cosec is opposite of sin, so we write cosec at the opposite vertex to sin. And sec is opposite of cos, so we write sec at the opposite vertex to cos. Now, we will shape these three triangles inside the hexagon. We will generate one trigonometric identity for each triangle. The rule is to go in clockwise direction like this. From the first triangle going in clockwise direction, we get sine, cos and 1. Squaring these three in order, we can write the first trigonometric identity as sine square theta plus cos square theta equals 1. Similarly, from the second triangle going in clockwise direction, we get 1, cot and cosec. Squaring these three in order, we can write the second trigonometric identity as 1 plus cot square theta equals cosec square theta. And now, from the third triangle going in clockwise direction, we get tan, 1 and sec. Squaring these three in order, we can write the third trigonometric identity as tan square theta plus 1 equals sec square theta. These are the three important trigonometric identities that helps us in solving and proving various trigonometric statements.